Alrighty, YouTube. Yes, yes, I did change the camera angle, obviously, because um, it was right here, but I put something here, so I needed to move it there, so now it's over there, right? Um, I don't know. I still like it. I ain't gonna lie, right? I had to bring the Funko Pops down. I like having something in the background, so I hope you guys like it. But um, today, we're going to be doing something that, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's an ass pull. Well, technically, it is and it isn't, right? Someone actually told me to do this one, but I said I wasn't gonna do these no more, but I couldn't think of anything else to do, so, you know, it's fine. But we're going to be reacting or reviewing Pride Wins tier list because apparently they updated it heavenly. I didn't even know this. Um, the last time I looked at their tier list was, um, I want to say soda, right? And that was just to see where soda was. Like, I didn't see um, where the other characters were. But as you can see, a lot of characters, like, I'm seeing D in a triple S, right? Um, and I'm not saying that's wrong or anything, like, but she wasn't there last time I seen. So, let's take a look and see what's going on. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Obviously, this video will be helpful as well because I'm going to give you guys my opinion on it and stuff like that. Ooh. Let me get in frame, though. Let me get in frame, though. Alrighty, so the killer wife is wow. Okay, triple less than everything but PvP. I mean, I think it's fine, right? I think when it comes to the killer wife, her value isn't necessarily. Um, I feel like the her main value is the cooldown reduction. And even if for most people, like that's not enough. I mean, no, the cooldown reduction is more than enough. Seven seconds every eight normal attacks like be for real bro her that's a lot and then the attack damage buff it is um you know it, it should it's technically permanent right five percent for 10 seconds and five normal attacks you can do that it's pretty basically permanent right so there is that right um her also her burst skill and stuff like that is also very helpful when it comes to bosses and stuff but i feel like her greatest feat realistically is the cooldown reduction so that's fine litter is still litter red hood is still red hood tia is triple s on everything in s and pvp i do think the better duo as of right now in nikkei is tia and naga over blanc noir i don't want to say blanc noir fell off because that's definitely not the case but it is definitely true that like i want to say especially after crown a lot more people are only using blanc and noir if they're fighting like something that requires multiple teams right because if you have naga if you have litter and you have crown there is no way you are using anybody else but like those three and then your two main dps right i mean you could probably are still using the bunny girls don't get me wrong but yeah you could even see wow they're triple they used to be triple s and damn near everything triple s and only sss now uh, or it only in low store or no, my bad early story only triple s in early story and then ss everywhere else that's still very good don't get it twisted now but they used to be what th this literally these triple s's used to be on this character and then naga these triple s's used to be on. oh wow okay yeah so i guess they did rank them down a bit um still very good characters but i do think after crown drop which is triple s triple s triple s la, 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 la. after crown drop yes the, because blanc and noir the thing is yes naga is also a burst too so crown would technically affect naga and tia but you just replaced tia right um the thing is that crown literally provides you everything that tia provides um so if you have tia not not in a well, technically she does right tia you work tia with naga you work crown with naga right you don't have to run like with blanc and or you have to have the two together it is just what it is modernia is still triple s scarlet is still triple s and everything but one scarlet black shadow i know they bumped this up because when they released this character i think she only had triple s in one thing and that was against that was the solo bosses everything else i think they had her a double s because of the uh, high deficit this character hit so hard that's why the whole community was so upset that she wasn't like in triple s on release but they finally did put her in triple s um when you look at these tier lists right let me ask you guys down below right when you look at these tier lists and you see that this scarlet the og scarlet has more triple s's in everything else and this black shadow scarlet only has triple s's in three things so this one has four this one has three did that automatically in your head say that this scarlet is better than this scarlet let me know down below in the comments because for me i believe that black shadow scarlet is better than the original scarlet right but that, hey you guys let me know what you think down below when you see this ranking right here do you say okay because this character has less triple s's than this character that means this character is better 
you guys let me know down below right now in terms of how it's ordered it's not like oh the killer wife is better than all these characters it goes based on their names right so modernia comes before m becomes comes before n and comes, that's how it works for anybody wondering yes um wow okay they put bunny alice in double s for early for just all of story and boss solos and then uh for boss ads they put her in s i do respect it i do think she is a very very good healer i do think one billion percent that alice is a fantastic healer um so i think that's fine dorothy oh i i made the video yesterday i said dorothy didn't fall off but like she definitely like went down she definitely went down in rankings right so she i swear she had triple s somewhere as well i don't remember exactly i swear she had triple s somewhere but yeah she did definitely go down in rankings right and then um rapunzel is still these are very good healers though especially when rapunzel and alice are very good healers so that makes sense but dorothy they don't even have her in triple s for boss solos anymore right i think that's where she was triple s they don't have her in triple s for boss solos which is quite crazy because um i probably would still have her in triple s for uh boss solo but it's fine senti one of the characters who i want to say not necessarily fell off just never touched right i don't know when the last time i used senti the last time i used senti actually was for a showcase recently just to get burst generation but like for senti's main purpose which is the shield i'm i have not used her right let's keep it up but this whole thing the shield i have not used her for that it, again with crown dropping a lot of verse 2 characters lost their relevancy bro like in just general stuff the only time you're gonna see use out of these characters are in content that requires multiple teams right or if it's a tower where you cannot use crown but like the burst 2s unfortunately they a lot of them just got like docked on bro they just got dunked on bro by freaking crown rem is still um i'm never gonna use her i feel like bro i know it's so crazy because when she came out everyone read her kit including myself and then it was like damn you might want to have this character and i still think she's really really good obviously for rocket launchers and stuff like that but it's just like what are the rocket launchers you're using right now maybe just this scarlet right um and a2 as well like i use rem when i'm running my uh, slasher team yeah because that helps them but or not a2 i use rem when i'm running my slasher team but besides that i'm not using her right um especially now with alice it's definitely gonna be like alice then maybe the killer wife for litter and then rem and then obviously my slashers right i use the slasher team a lot a2 um still pretty good right mainly in low deficit which i feel like is valid right i feel like the content is going harder and this character is uh not necessarily that she's not gonna compete but you know that she's just not um she just obviously her damage is not bad it's just not nuking like it was the newer content right alice now she still has triple s and everything um just ss and low deficit which is fine this is a character you have to sell your soul for her to get to these rankings right they have a dollar sign beside her name so i want you guys to understand that very well when it, that dollar sign for this character matters the most in this entire game right there's a dollar sign beside rem there's a dollar sign beside maxwell there's a dollar sign beside anise and privity the dollar sign beside alice means the absolute most on this tier list don't get it twisted now um there's all this ranking the triple s and the double s is all based on this character if you sold your soul for her to get <laughs> that's the reality right but yeah she's still a very very good character amelia very nice in pvp right um in story you could definitely use her as well as the dps maxwell very good support as well um so double s everywhere i do respect it same thing goes for privity realistically um in boss solos and boss ads not necessarily needed but if you do use her then she is gonna have that use summer and niece um used to be in triple s and damn near i don't want to say damn near everything she used to be triple s and more than just obviously like boss ads right story low like now she's just triple s in pvp which is valid she's very very good in pvp but um yeah summer and also at the dollar sign she's only you only need to invest into her if you want to use her without privity and then even if you do invest into her you're probably still going to run her with privity so it's like it doesn't really matter if you have her invested or not if you have privity on the team which you are regardless if she's invested or not she's still going to perform like a beast bro let's keep it a buck um and then we have some of the meta so oh this is what okay so they consider this meta then okay um i i i guess yeah they consider this meta and then these are what replacements um 
I'm just looking to see if I would say any of these characters are meta. Maybe this character only. Like, I would say, I would only probably say Maid Privilege could go, or not Maid Privilege, Winter and Miller could go into meta, but maybe, like, that's just a, my opinion. Everything else looks to be fine, right? This is okay, right? Um, her heels are still, you know, I think her heels are good still, but now with Bunny Alice, right, it's like, I'm not gonna, I, I will use Bunny or Mary, like, I'll use Summer Mary, but I'm not using her unless Alice is on the team. Like, Alice is so good for these, heal, uh, these healers, it's scary right she's so good for these healers it's scary right um because of the massive freaking um 150 percent hp potency buff to anybody to all allies that means all anybody who heals is gonna have their a yo it's crazy bro it's actually crazy um so okay snow white both of them sure this is a free character on par with some of these other characters that's crazy right um well this is their overall rankings right this is i'm just on this low deficit i'm not changing the tabs because you can just read it all through here right so in s she's in you know boom in low deficit story she's in s everywhere else she's a b or c right let me see okay so i i want to assume they didn't rank laplacia based on her treasure oh did they i don't think they ranked her yet based on her treasure because i don't think anybody has access to her treasure um not yet at least right so we're gonna have to wait i i don't know do people have access to the treasures i'm not sure I don't think you can even will for the treasure, so I'm not sure. Um, so we'll come back to that. Uh, let me see who's down Bay. Ah, justice for Bay, bro. So crazy, so crazy how good she is, too, bro. I don't know. I'm the only one who thinks this at this point, though. Am I wrong? Chat? I am the only person who genuinely believes Bay is a very good tank, right? Now, to be fair, just because she's a very good tank doesn't mean she's a one of the best characters in the game right if you notice where bay lies who is higher than her that's a tank right maybe polly there's no way they have polly over maybe because the attack buff right but like if you look at the other tanks like noah right that's a real tank she's under her if you look at characters like nero she's under her if you like all the other tanks are under bay realistically so it's like it's not that bay is a bad character it's just that she's the best tank but they just don't value tanks as much Clearly, um, because where's Lamilla? She's a very good tank as well. I feel like they at least it should be A tier. At least <laughs> that's what I feel like, but it's fine. Uh I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm, okay. This is maybe she'll get a treasure this summer. Her learn knows. Um we'll see. Kilo, pretty good rankings for the free-to-play characters have pretty good rankings, bro. The free-to-play characters. Uh but yeah, overall I do agree with their meta. That's all that people ever care about. Their meta and the best replacements. I do think those are fine. Um Right, especially that maybe I would I don't want to say Rem isn't meta, but I'm not using her unless I'm running with slashes personally. Uh I think a dollar, I don't think dollar's meta anymore. I feel like these are characters you gotta remember dollar came out the release of the game. A lot of these characters, literally the only character who's still here that came out on the release of the game that's like still in rankings is Privity, Alice, Maxwell, Scarlet, um Litter, and Rapunzel. Those are the unsenti right these are the only characters who came out on release that are still in the top 10 and these are the th they're not top 10 but like on the highest rankings and these are the characters who were always the best characters in the game especially when they did come out right so you guys let me know what you think right um if you guys want to check it out i believe my the link to pride wins is not even sponsored but the link to pride wins website is always in my description so if you want to take a look at it yourself take a look at it yourself but for now it's gonna be your boys the Uxus, and uh i'm gonna see you guys in the whoa wait uh, did they lower isabel that much yo this this is a pilgrim by the way y'all justice for isabel needs to be established can we get hashtag justice for isabel in the comments this needs to be fixed that's crazy it's your boys the Uxus. let me know what you think i'm out peace